I wanted to talk about something that a lot of people might not be aware of, and that is that uh, down here in Puerto Rico, uh, the majority of uh, electricity is produced by oil-powered uh, power plants. And uh, the type of oil uh, that is used, um, a as was c discussed in uh, the Slate article that I'm going to link, is the dirtiest oil that is legally allowed to be burned in the United States. Now, I bring this up because of something that has come to light as a result of the uh, debt negotiations that are currently going on at the power company. And that is that uh, uh, Puerto Rico has uh, not taken advantage of a $600 million tax credit that was being offered uh, for solar power production. And in addition to that, uh, it's also come to light that uh, the power company has rejected uh, proposals to install uh, 600 million uh, watts of uh, solar energy in Puerto Rico uh, funded uh, by investors, um, foreign investors, I guess. Well, not, not really foreign, from the United States. Now, here's what, what I'm asking. Um, the government is currently paying uh, uh, an executive by the name of Donahue uh, to negotiate uh, with uh, creditors, and uh, the, the price of that uh, negotiation contract is apparently eight million dollars uh, for less than a year's work. And uh, so far, uh, based on news reports, uh, all that uh, that person has been doing is rejecting offers from creditors to help finance solar projects and uh, clean e energy projects in Puerto Rico which, uh, going back to the oil, means that they're functionally rejecting uh, clean energy projects funded by United States investors in favor of continuing to burn the dirtiest coal uh, oil possible. Now, the, fi the financial aspect of it, in addition to the um, environmental aspect, uh, energy uh, that is produced uh, from oil in Puerto Rico uh, costs about 30 cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, an equivalent um, solar uh, project uh, costs, according to, I'll just uh, use uh, nrgc.org uh, for a price comparison, uh, but they estimate uh, at, at lowest uh, 12 cents per kilowatt hour for solar energy. So Basically, we're paying these people $8 million to reject cheaper, uh, cleaner solar energy in favor of continuing to burn the dirtiest oil legally allowed, which costs almost three times as much per kilowatt hour. And uh, it's just an insane situation.